Egypt and Qatar are set to launch an initiative to help the people of Sudan. A top Qatari official attends the inauguration ceremony of Turkey's re-elected president Erdogan. Great news for globe trotters as Pakistan opens up to Qataris with visa on arrival. And finally, is Messi days away from joining the Saudi League? Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani and Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi have reportedly agreed to launch a joint initiative to support the people of Sudan. More than 700 people have been killed since the conflict between the military and paramilitary RSF erupted in August. The Qatari Egyptian initiative is expected to include humanitarian and relief services. The latest developments come after the Sudanese military pulled out of peace talks in Jeddah. On Sunday, both Saudi Arabia and the United States urged the warring factions to agree to a new ceasefire. Over in Turkey, Qatar's Minister of Interior, Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, attended the inauguration ceremony of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Erdogan was re-elected for a third time during a historic election last week, trumping his opponent with more than 52% of votes. Sheikh Khalifa attended the event on behalf of his brother, Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Officials from more than 80 countries, including 21 heads of state and 13 prime ministers, attended the inauguration in Ankara. In other news, Qatari passport holders can now enter Pakistan with a visa on arrival. The decision was announced by an official source from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Those with diplomatic, special, and regular Qatari passports can enter for 30 days on a tourism visa that can be stamped on arrival. This can be extended for another 30 days without charge. And in sports, Saudi media says Leo Messi is set to travel to the kingdom within 48 hours to sign a contract with Al Hilal. The reports come just hours after the World Cup champion confirmed his exit from the Qatar-owned PSG. News of his transfer to the Saudi Pro League has yet to be officially confirmed. Sources who spoke to the Saudi Gazette said the value of the deal and the player's salary have not yet been finalized. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.